Today is Sunday, 30th of January, 2022. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is Keep up the activities of righteousness. Our theme scripture is taken from Luke 19, verse 13. And it says, Occupy till I come. Hallelujah. As Christians, we've been given authority over demons of darkness to cast them out of people, cities, towns, villages, and nations. Pastor begins. But casting them out alone sometimes doesn't really stop the trouble. You have to ramp up the activities of righteousness in and around such places. Hallelujah. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew 12, 43 to 45. He said, when an unclean spirit is cast out of a man, he walks through dry places seeking rest. Finding none, he returns to the place where he was cast out. And if he finds it empty, swept and garnished, he goes and takes seven other spirits who are more wicked than himself. And all eight of them enter the man. He becomes worse than he was before. Wow. Pastor says that man shouldn't have been empty. He should have immediately begun feeding on God's word in study and meditation. Likewise, when we cast devils out of a city, nation, or town, we must move in with evangelism and fill the land with the word of God. Glory to God. If we don't preach and increase the activities of righteousness in such places, Pastor says, we are leaving it open to another visitation of devils. God forbid. We must take over those places at once by invading them with the word. Furthermore, continue in prayer and intercession for those. Furthermore, continue in prayer and intercession for those regions to make them uncomfortable for devils to settle back in. As read in our theme verse, Jesus said, Occupy till I come. Oh, that means keep walking, keep preaching, keep prevailing in prayer for the souls of men. Keep up the activities of righteousness. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for your word to us today. And thank you for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me. Thank you, Father, for giving me an understanding of the word and for building my faith strong and giving me the authority to cast out demons and enforce your will in the earth. The nations of the world are fashioned for your glory. Therefore, the influence of Satan is broken and the gospel is spreading around the world unhindered. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read Matthew 24, 14 and Mark 16, 15. Wow, yes, the nations were fashioned for the Lord's glory. So, has your nation received the gospel? If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ in your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say this word. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. Confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. 
I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Every one of us has the capacity to become a forest. I'm a tree of righteousness and I am producing a forest, a forest of trees of righteousness. The February Global Communion Service and Praise Night with our man of God, Pastor Chris, is here. It's a unique and glorious opportunity to sing songs of praise to God, to break bread and take the cup.